<laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Amber Lowry with the Roanoke City Public Libraries in Roanoke, Virginia. And today I want to share with you two of my favorite barnyard bedtime stories. Uh, and this can work for bedtime or nap time. So enjoy. This first one is No Sleep for the Sheep by Karen Beaumont. In the big red barn on the farm on the farm, in the big red barn on the farm, a sheep fell asleep in the big red barn in the big red barn on the farm. Can you see him asleep? He has a teddy bear. Then there came a loud quack at the door at the door and the sheep couldn't sleep anymore anymore. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the duck at the door, and please don't quack anymore. Quack, said the duck in the barn. Not a peep. Go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Soon the duck and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. Then there came a loud baa at the door, at the door, and the sheep couldn't sleep anymore. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the goat at the door, and please don't baa anymore. Baa, said the goat in the barn. Not a peep, go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Soon the goat and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. Can you see who our next person might be? Who do you think it is? Then there came a loud oink at the door at the door and the sheep couldn't sleep anymore anymore. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the pig at the door and please don't oink anymore. Oink, said the pig in the barn. Shh, not a peep. Go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Soon the pig and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. Oh, they've got their teddy bear. They're all tied up and sleeping. Who's going to be next? Then there came a loud moo at the door, at the door, and the sheep couldn't sleep anymore, anymore. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the cow at the door, and please don't moo anymore. Moo, said the cow in the barn. Shh, not a peep. Go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Soon the cow and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. Oh, we have one more animal. Who is it going to be? Then there came a loud neigh at the door, at the door, and the sheep couldn't sleep anymore. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the horse at the door, and please don't neigh anymore. What do you think that horse is going to do? You're right. Neigh, said the horse in the barn. Shh, not a peep. Go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Soon the horse and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. In a deep, deep sleep, in the big red barn, in the big red barn on the farm. But then, cock a doodle -doo! Wake up, all of you. Hey, sheep, that means you, too. But the sheep slept right on through. Why is that? Is he tired? Oh, through the nays and the moos and the cock a doodle doos and the big red farm on the big red barn on the farm. And there he is sleeping with his teddy bear and his little chick. Beep. So that's the end of No Sleep for the Sheep. And now we're going to read the last book. That's one of my favorites. And that is The Perfect Nest. The Perfect Nest. And this is our new friend. His name is Jack. And this book is by Catherine Friend. I think it would be such a neat thing to have the last name Friend. So then you're everybody's friend. The Perfect Nest. Jack the cat gathered together everything that he needed and then built the perfect nest. Dry and cozy and just the right size. But the nest was not for Jack. With this perfect nest, he would attract the perfect chicken who would lay the perfect egg, which would make a perfect omelet for a cat like Jack. Do you like omelets? Hmm, soon enough, just as he thought, a chicken came by. Caramba, she cried, a perfect nest. And she hopped up and she laid a small 
egg. Just then, a duck waddled by. Sacre bleu, she cried, the perfect nest. And the duck pushed the chicken all out, hopped up, and laid a medium-sized egg. But then, a goose lumbered by. Great balls of fire, she cried, a perfect nest. The goose pushed the duck out, hopped up, and laid a large egg. Oh, look at that. Jack's mouth began to water. Three eggs would make three omelets. But then the duck leaped onto the goose's back. This is my nest. The chicken flew up onto the duck. No, this is my nest. And the three cackled and quacked and honked, but each refused to leave the perfect nest. They squished each other for days. Each day, Jack tried to get the birds off those eggs. Fire, fire, he cried. They didn't move. Flood, flood, he cried. They didn't move. Wolf, wolf, he cried. But the chicken, the duck, and the goose would not move. Finally, Jack stood before them. You birds are so silly. The next farm over has an even better nest and it's empty. Why doesn't one of you go use that nest? An empty nest, cried the chicken, without a goose sitting on my head, caramba. Sacre bleu, cried the duck, I am tired of smelling like the chicken, that nest is mine. Great balls of fire, cried the goose, out of my way. And they all flapped away. Ah, looks like Jack got what he wanted, look at that. Oh, but what's going to happen, do you see? Alone at last, Jack returned to the nest and peeked inside, and he arranged the eggs neatly in a row. Small for breakfast, medium for lunch, and large for dinner. Jack's mouth rumbled, but then... Crack! The small egg broke open and out popped a wet baby chick, who looked up at Jack and said, Caramba! Hola, mamá! Crackety snap! The medium-sized egg broke open and out scrambled a wet baby duck who looked up at Jack and said, Sacre bleu, bonjour, maman. Crackety crack, boom. The largest egg broke open and out stepped a wet baby goose who looked up at Jack and said, Great balls of fire, howdy, ma. Jack stared at the babies. What was he to do? He couldn't make omelets out of them. Try me, try me, try me cried the soggy baby chick. Feed me, feed me, feed me, cried the hungry baby duck. Play, 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 cried the excited baby goose. What do you think Jack is going to do? Jack hid in the barn, but the three babies found him there. He hid in the woods, but the three babies found him there. Jack hid under the tractor, but guess what? The three babies found him there and dragged him back to the nest. For you parents at home, you kind of understand this right now, don't you? Sleep, 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 the tired babies finally whispered. Cold, 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 said the shivering babies. Jack scratched his head. Can you scratch your head? Someone had to care for these babies, but there was no one else around. Jack lifted all three babies into the nest. Buenas noches, mamá said the baby duck. Bon nuit, maman, said the baby duck. Sweet dreams, ma, said the baby goose. And then Jack climbed into the nest and the babies fell asleep and that's when he realized that this really was the perfect nest. Thanks for sharing my favorite stories with me. We hope to see you again soon.